Welcome back to your favorite podcast, Pixabuzz, where we talk about nerd culture, tech news, and everything in between. With a little bit of a buzz. We are your host, who is Zane. Go ahead and find me on Instagram, Twitter, and my webpage. Only Instagram, so Zane or Z somewhere down here. Zane, make sure you add. It's a magic. Go ahead and look for us. Today, we're going to do something a little new. Uh, we're going to bring a little bit more content to this webpage, website, YouTube channel. And uh, it's going to be our little weekly nerdy techie news. We're going to choose three topics, or as much as we can fit within this, these few minutes, and uh, we're going to talk about them. Today, I think we uh, should probably talk about something that's near and dear to our heart, Batman. Yes. My Batman favorite. 2021. Correct. The whole Robert Patterson, uh, the new cast that they brought in with uh, the new uh, Gordon, Commissioner Gordon. I've never, personally, I haven't seen Westworld, so I don't know how he acts. I know. Mm. All the hate down there. Let's go. Bring it on. Let's start that YouTube comment. Um, and uh, the Riddler. I actually, I'm intrigued for this. Uh, I feel like he will probably bring in... Um, more of a Jim Carrey? Paul Dano. Actually, no. He's actually been in horror movies. Mm-hmm. He's actually a really good psychopath. He's really creepy. Very... Jim Carrey was a little psychopath. I um, mean, he was more like, because, uh, you know, I guess for Jim Carrey, he's more like coming from like Ace Ventura and stuff like that. It was different for him. But like. It was a, like a witty. Yeah. But I, I definitely, I, I'm definitely happy for that. I mean, Robert Patterson, you know, I'm, I'm a little in between, you know, because like. I think this movie is going more for a dark tone, though. Zoe Kravitz is not really one to be more of a comical mm-hmm. person. I think she's very good. There's, I think it's called Big Little Lies on HBO. She's really good in that. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and look it up on HBO. Also, amazing soundtrack. Really good stuff. But Paul Dano as Riddler. Robert Pattinson as Batman. Yeah. Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman. <clears throat> and Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon. I feel like a lot of people don't really agree with the cast so far. Mm-hmm. Um, the rumors are that there might be multiple villains like they had with like uh, Freeze and Poison Ivy and stuff like that. Ooh. Bane. Those are the rumors. Who knows? Uh, but so far, <clears throat> I-, I feel like, sorry. So far, I feel like, <clears throat> Sorry. So far, I feel like they're doing a good job. Um, I think it's going to be really good. Todd Phillips is definitely definitely going to do a good job. Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. Um, to When they mentioned that Robert Pattinson was going to play Batman, I'm like, oh, man, is Batman going to be shining throughout the whole movie? Get it's it? going to be a... You get that? You get that? Reference. Ha. But it, uh, it's going to be a pretty interesting thing. Uh, we'll see. Right now, Robert Pattinson just got out filming this black and white movie shot on 35 mil mm-hmm. Re- looks really beautiful really, really gritty I, yeah. i've read the reviews so far a lot of people are actually liking yeah. it yeah so, so he has a couple of acting uh, good movies that yeah. i guess you can say he's a pretty good actor so can't wait um, Let, let's not rule it out yet because it's Aka like wood with, yeah like what we did with uh heath ledger and his joker everybody was like what blah 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 Best Joker ever. Best performance ever in any Joker. Even, and that even includes, I'm sorry, Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, I love your Joker. Ask. I love your Joker, but it just, Heath Ledger. Better no, than that, compares. Joaquin Phoenix. Let us know what you guys think below. Excited for this new uh, 2021 Batman. And uh, also, who's better? Uh, Joaquin Phoenix or? Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger's. Uh, Heath but Ledger. we're going to continue. We only got a few minutes. The next one, Pixel Four. Ooh, thoughts. Um, a lot of oh, well, the topic that we're bringing up is the battery life. Uh, like good phone overall, is just damaged, I guess, because of battery life, and I can't really blame it. It's the fourth installment of the Google Phone, um, and like Samsung and Apple, when they all started, they all had the same issues. They're probably going through the through their trial and errors. So I'm I'm seeing it like this. Um, overall, I, I you know I can't really say you're more of on this topic than I am. I feel well. So Google has been making phones prior to uh, the Pixel. They were using HTC as one of their proprietary brands. But, oh, so HTC, yeah, yeah, 
They were no, pretty no, yeah, good. Yeah, but I'm saying, like... They were pretty good. They were pretty good in the beginning. Android phones, HTC was the thing that brought them up. So, but aside from that, we're going to now go into the Pixels where Google basically brought everything in-house. So, right now, battery life of the Pixel 4, tone 800 millihertz. That's almost the same thing as the iPhone uh, 10. Yeah, it's 27, the, the iPhone, iPhone 10. Yep. So, they could have done a lot better. A lot, especially for a flagship yeah. phone, you could have done a lot more at the moment. Uh, but so the battery life is lacking. There is some sort of now issue with the camera as well. People are expecting a wide angle camera. Blame the iPhone because all of a sudden now it wants to do it, which we'll get into eventually with the next topic. But yeah, I mean, um, I feel I personally feel like the Pixel missed a big opportunity right there. They could have definitely used the the space that they have there for a wide angle on their phone. I mean, like I said, <clears throat> sorry, I, yeah. So they started with HCC and stuff and other phones, but this is their their fourth installment. Like this is their fourth like Google creation, you can say, right? Yeah, um, and like now the only phone company that's actually been doing it well and even though i have an iphone samsung has really been killing it they yeah. they have always been bringing out new things and ever since rest of soul uh steve, steve jobs, jobs died iphone hasn't really brought anything new to the phone no and actually we're going to talk about what they've been killing on the phones within a few minutes upgrades i mean updates, updates. but we'll get there in a bit I feel like there's a little bit more that we can talk about the Pixel 4, like its refresh rate on the monitor, the screen. It can go up to 90 hertz, but it's throttled. So instead of getting a really smooth display throughout your whole experience, they'll, they'll stop it down once in a while. Maybe you're like flipping through a very, like Instagram doesn't need 90 hertz, so they'll probably bring it down. So the interesting thing with Pixel is that I think they want to prove that you don't need the top-notch hardware for their phones. Mm. Everything, even their image, like their night mode image, it, even though it takes like a minute to take one picture, but it has such beautiful pictures. And it does everything through its AI. Like Google just captures as, much image, as many images as it possibly can, puts them together, reduces noise, exposes it by itself, and then provides you a picture. And then even there, you can edit a full-res image, which is amazing. Well, like I said, fourth fourth of its kind. Hopefully, Google gets it better. With time, I'm pretty sure they will. It's Google. Let's Fingers crossed. Google, please don't let me down on the next uh, Pixel 5, please. Now, we're going to go to a heavy hitter. Yeah. The a iPhone of, update. A lot of hate. Let's go. Let's talk about the iPhone iOS 13. Pix, uh, iPhone 11 came out. Yep. <clears throat> and it was updates galore. <sighs> updates after updates. Six updates to be exact. Six. And every single one of them had some specific thing to do, like to fix battery life. No way. For those um, who use email on their iPhones, it was a horrible thing. Yeah, not just emails. Like, overall, there was just a lot of lag. Um, the phone was glitching where, like, your, your screen wasn't working or, like, mm. uh, it, it didn't. when you chose dark mode, it was, I don't know, with the other mode because I chose dark, you know, dark soul, dark everything, black. Just Batman. Just, you've never seen us together in the same room. But um, anyway, so, Can yeah. You? Um, a lot of glitches overall, and every update would help. But I mean, if you need six updates since your phone came out, yeah, that says a lot about your company. Yeah, that's quite a uh, statement that you're making within your best selling phone. Because I'm not gonna lie, I'm an Android person, but the iPhone 11, really yeah. good, really good phone. Cameras are. Takes beautiful pictures, really well made device. Even the resolution, it's not like 144 or like it's not 90, but 
it's good. It's decent. It's a really beautiful phone. But then you go and push updates that don't just affect that one phone. It affects all, all phones. your phones. All the old phones, too. I have an iPhone 8, and that thing was having issues. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Company phone. Definitely yeah. had a how, lot of like, issues, How too. do you affect your whole chain? Like, you're making money out of this, uh, these customers. That's why I wasn't receiving company emails. See? We're figuring things out here in this podcast. That's what I'm telling my boss. At Are least. you having any issues on your iPhone? If so, please let us know down in the comments down below. Let us know your opinion on the three topics that we just spoke about. And if you guys want us to cover any other topics, let us know. Thank you. This has been a great uh, recording. Till next time.